Hi guys. We're gonna look at two super cool pop-ups now. They're both Star Wars and um, I'm really not gonna read them. There's like so much information in them. Um, and I think really the coolest part is the pop-up. So I'm just gonna say, yeah, I'll tell you what they are, or a quick little blurb or something as I read it or as I show you, but I'm really gonna be off to the side over here. I just wanted to say hello and I miss you all so much. Um, but I'm gonna have the a book really the only thing in the picture on uh, in this particular video so I miss you guys and I hope to see you soon and we're gonna look at two Star Wars pop-ups all right I'm gonna move that in a little bit all right the first one you can see this one too they're both super thick so they're they're also both almost 10 years old um, so there's a couple parts that are a little bit worn out there but they're still fun to look at so we'll look at I think this one's older we'll do this one first this is a pop-up guide to the galaxy. They're both by Matthew Reinhardt, um, and um, they're Lucas Books, Scholastic, a subprint of uh, Orchard Books and Scholastic. So, this is Star Wars: A Guide, a pop-up guide to the galaxy. Like I said, some of them are kind of messed up, and this is definitely one of them. So he's broken off there, but that's still pretty cool. Is it? We were just discussing. Is it eighty? ATAT -AT or an at at? We always thought it was ATAT, -AT, and then we were watching the Lego Masters the other night, and they were calling it the at at. So I don't know. Pretty cool though. He's huge. And then we have all these little sub pop ups here. So this one says a long time ago, and this is the remote desert world of Tatooine. You can see that. The harsh, harsh desert sands. And this is the Imperial Center Coruscant. Open that up there. It says Imperial Terror Weapon, the Death Star. Code name, the Death Star. It's a moon-sized battle station of unspeakable destructive power. All right, what do we have over here? This one's the map of the galaxy. Open that. You see that? There's Emperor Palpatine. And that is Sanctuary Moon Endor. If I close him, we also have... Cloud City. I've seen all these movies, every single one with my boys, but I can't keep track of all this stuff. So it's like I've heard them all. <laughs> Couldn't really tell you about it. All right, this one's pretty cool. This is Citizens of the Galaxy. Look at him. Huge. This is the Mega Predator Rancor. All right, well, we'll start, or start over here on the left. Let's see the little one right here is the Jawas, the droid scavengers Jawas. And then this whole thing will open. Oh, Chewy! There's Chewy. Chewbacca. No, even in the little one here, we have the Ewoks. The Ewoks will pop up. This Wicket W. Warwick, he seems to be the most popular or famous named Ewok. All right, Twi'lex. I'm not really sure if I'm saying that correctly, but that's Bib Fortuna. Bib Fortuna. All right, and then this is, we have the Rodians. There's a little guy there. That's Greedo. Rodian thug Greedo. And then this is a big one. This is the Xenobiology. There's a lot. All right, so that's Tauntaun, Rebel Mount Tauntaun. It's pretty cool. But if I come over here, this is Deep Space Creatures opens, and there's Space Vermin Minoc. And then over on this side, we have Hoth Wildlife, it's Fierce Ice Storms. There's the Ice Hunter Wampa. Ice Hunter Wampa, all right. Close him all up. And then there's Bantha. That's Sarlacc. Like the one nestled in the pit of Carcoon, the Sarlacc digests its prey over thousands of years. Holy cow. All right, say goodbye to Rancor. Gonna close him up. Well, first we gotta close Chewy, and then we can close Rancor. All right, now we have the Millennium Falcon. He's pretty awesome. Or it, not he. And that should be 
down a little bit lower, but like I said, it's 10 years old. All right, over here we have Across the Stars, it says, and you have the X-Wing Starfighter, the TIE Fighter, both of those. It's pretty cool. And then over here, we're going to open this on the bottom. It says the Pursuit Ship Slave 1 and Cargo Transport Desert Skiff. And then here we have the Shuttle Tidrium. Did I say that correctly? I think. Tidrium? Tidrium. Ooh, that's pretty cool. He's in good shape on that one. And then this is, let's see what's on the inside, the Snow Speeder. And then the one that pops out is the All-Terrain Scout Transport. He was in Lego Masters the other night. It was the Star Wars episode. They built him, and so was the At At. All right, and then we have, ooh, look at that one. That's pretty cool. Look at all the angles. There's lots of people in there to see. All right, and over on the left, we have Rogues and Scoundrels, it says, and then we have Han Solo. And then we open it again, and look at this. See, there's Han Solo, and of course he gets frozen in there. Not frozen, crystallized. I don't know what the right word is for what happens to him in there. There's Boba Fett. And here's Lando Calrissian. Lando pops out. All right, I'm going to close him back up. Come over here on the right. Gangsters and bounty hunters. Wow! The classic character, Jabba the Hutt. And then over here, Hunters for Hire. Oh, we have IG-88 and Bosk. All right, so we can fold all these back up. And now we have the icons. Hmm. R2-D2 and C-3PO. That's a pretty cool pop-up right there. Right over on the left here, we have the Rebel Alliance against the Empire. And here's Admiral Akbar. And then Mon Matha. And I don't know why, the Alliance leader, the fugitive senator from Shandrila. All right, we'll close him up. And this is the heart of the Rebel Alliance. An outspoken leader, Princess Leia. Pretty cool there. See your face kind of hidden in there. All right, and under here we have the Wedge Antilles leader. Rogue leader, Wedge Antilles. All right, close them up. And then we have the Galactic Empire over here, ruling from Coruscant, Coruscant, Coruscant Emperor Palpatine. And the Emperor's Royal Guard, Imperial Troops. All right, that's my favorite one with R2-D2 and C-3PO. All right, we'll close them up. Look at that. Oh, that's a good view of it right there. All the way around, he's pretty cool. That is awesome. All right, so the power of the Force, the dark side. All right, this is Jedi Leader. Your Sith Lord Darth Vader. Now, it just died because the last time I opened it to check his. Um, oh my gosh. Blanking on it. Not sword. What do we. Oh my gosh. My kids will be so disappointed I just blanked on that. Lightsaber. Holy cow. The lightsaber lit up. Used to light up red there, which is cool. All right. We'll close that and we'll open. Dark side sorcerer's ember of Palpatine. He is so ugly. I don't like seeing his face after he gets all messed up. He's a little gross looking. <laughs> and there's Emperor Palpatine. And there's even talking about Vader's lightsaber. All right, and over here on this side, here's Luke Skywalker. That's a cool one. And again, this is 10 years old, but his lightsaber used to light up too. in there and on the bottom we have Obi-Wan Kenobi and that opens up to Yoda pretty cool 
popping up out of there. And that's the end of that one. We're going to go right on to the second one, which is a pop, a galactic pop-up adventure. So this one, part very cool. The bottom part here is ripped, but it would open like that. Now it's cool. You can see the pilot up on top there. All right, over on the left, so we go into Anakin over here. A long time ago, the Galactic Republic united distant worlds across the far reaches of space while Jedi Knights served as the guardians of peace and justice. And there we have our beautiful uh, ruler of Naboo, ruled by the young queen Amidala and senator named Palpatine, who, of course, turns evil. We've got... And then on Tatooine... Pretty good pop up too right there. Coruscant, capital world of the Republic. All right, and over on the right we have this one's pretty cool. It opens a few times. I gotta get this broken one out of the way here. You can see that pops right off the page. That one's pretty cool. So if we close him and then open the one behind it, that one's pretty awesome. Lots of ships. See if I can get that one. Hard to hold. There we go. All right, so we'll close those up. This guy. Who do we have next? All right, this one's definitely broken, but I can kind of get him up where he's supposed to be. So that's pretty cool. There's our little creature guy there. Who is that? Nexu, vicious fanged feline from Kologna? Col Kolgana, I think is what it says. And then this one is huge. He doesn't come up on his own anymore because he's so big. <laughs> Very cool, though. All right, so under him we have a few to look at. This is the universe of diversity. It says here we have a colo claw fish. See, he's better at this angle. You can see his teeth and everything. And then if I lift this up, it's Sando Aqua Monster. You can see his mouth and everything. Whoa. All right, close that up. And then this is a few different guys. This is Toydarians. Toydarians are strong-willed in their minds like those of the huts are resistant to Jedi mind tricks. All right, we have a couple under here. So the battle beasts, we open one at a time here. You've got the gun guns. I like him in the movie. He always makes me laugh. The gun gun. All right, we close him up. And then underneath him, Chewy again. Always good to see Chewy. And then we close Chewy and we have another one. Don't we? Yes. Oh, he opens down here. The Varactyls. Pretty cool. All right. Fold him all up. That page is a mess, but it's still pretty cool to see. This is awesome. This is one of my favorites in this book. So cool. He's huge, isn't he? All right, and then over here we have the destroyer droid. So pull him down, and you can see it transform and open up there. And now if I open this up some more. Oh, battle droid army. Pretty cool. It's amazing what they can do with paper, isn't it? All right, here's Darth Sidious, the Sith Lord. Bounty Hunter under here. Zam Wessel. See the face change, right? There to there. All right, we'll close this one up and then be able to open the one underneath it. Ah, and there's Darth Maul. I read one a book about Darth Maul, a uh, Star Wars chapter book that we have at school. 
was mine from home as I read it years ago with my boys and I donated it to the library so it is at school you might have seen that one all right let's get rid of him so we can close this guy up and we have look at that it's like tech and astromex that's pretty cool isn't it all right we'll come over to the left the all-terrain tactical enforcer Close him up. Now we have artificial intelligence down here. And you've got R2-D2. It's pretty cool how he opens. And then we have our C-3PO, our protocol droid. He comes together. Okay, we're going to go over to the right now. And this ETR-2 Actus Class and Scepter. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna open it again. We have a couple more to open here. It's the Slave One. And here's Gungan Bongo. The Naboon N1 Starfighter. These planes are so cool. They remained remarkably in good shape here after all these years. Close that up. All right, this is our last page here. Look at that. So cool. And you can see his lightsaber just barely still lights up. <laughs> Should have seen it when we first got it 10 years ago. It was like super bright and so cool. It was pretty awesome. All right, so Balance of the Force will open over here. On the left, look at that. That one's pretty cool. That's the Jedi Council. You can see that. See all the council members. Let's see if I can get him to close. And then under that, look at that. That one's pretty cool. Warriors of the Light from the Clone Wars, it says. Okay, and over here we have the Chosen One, young Anakin Skywalker. Anakin savagely attacked Padme and Obi-Wan, who tried to stop his descent into darkness. Of course we know it didn't work. They didn't get to stop him. And then Obi-Wan Kenobi down here. He countered his former Padwan, strikes blow for blow, and escaped to the sand scoured world of Tatooine, far from the Empire's reach. All right, now we're going to open this for even more. And there's Master Yoda. It's pretty cool. And then here's Palpatine's secret, it says. Watch, this one's pretty cool when he transforms. So watch his face. So that was when he was a good guy, right? And then he becomes the dark Sith. Sith Lord. It's a pretty cool transformation there. All right, guys, that is the end. These are just so fun to look at. So I hope you enjoyed checking out the Star Wars pop-ups with me. See you later.